How's it going, Talk For Us TV? My name is Jack, and welcome to my preview for the Forest vs. Rodham game away from home um, tomorrow night. So, yeah, um, well, it's tomorrow night after we record this, it might go up uh, on, on, on match day. But, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a um, family rivalry game for me. My uncle and my uh, granddad do support Rodham, so it's a bit of a, a, bit of a um, rivalry within our family, which is pretty funny. But, um, yeah. To be fair, Rotham not doing too badly. I mean, they're down in 22nd. But if you look at their recent games, I mean, it's 1-0 loss to Norwich, 1-0 to Bournemouth, 2-1 to Cardiff. They seem to be losing their games just by sort of the odd goal, the odd sort of, um, you know, well, goal against them. Obviously, that's the same thing. But, you know, they're not, they're not getting, like, bushed aside or absolutely hammered, which, you know, Rotham, who we've seen in the Championship before, that's something that they have been... You know, guilty of being thrashed, and they've gone down. I think with the most, po the least points ever in a championship season. So you know, fair play to them. They're not doing that badly. They've got some decent points and decent wins. You know, they got a draw against us, which you know, for the way that we're playing at the minute, that's not something for a team to scoff at. And um, yeah, I just think that you know, we can't we can't underestimate these. We can't go into this game and be like, right, we just play well through them roll them over, move on to Derby. It's a game that we've got to take seriously. And, you know, I've been guilty of kind of almost forgetting about this game and focusing more on about Friday night just because of how big that game is just for for us every year and for the whole season, you know. But I think, I think, you know, it's not going to be easy. You know, people might think that, oh, you know, it's only Rodham, they're, they're below us in the league. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll play at 50% 50, uh, 50 and save ourselves for the Derby game. You know, if you, if you, I'm not sure anybody who actually does think that, but I, I'm sure there will be people out there who might be in that mindset. You got to think though, they're not doing bad. They got a one nil loss against Norwich, one nil against Bournemouth. You know, they're playing well against teams up the, the table, and so are we. You know, so it could be quite an interesting match. They 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 hammered Derby three nil, um. So you know that they 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 can beat a team of our quality, uh, quite handedly. So it'll be a really interesting one to see how things go. I think we'll be fine. I do. I think um. It'll be quite a, a very similar starting eleven to the one that we saw uh, last time out. I think it'll be silly to change it. Really, like Hughton said, they're talking about togetherness. They're talking about being a being a, a unit and being a team and, and knowing how each other plays. And you don't want to break the rhythm of the side. And I think you know you've got to really start the same eleven that started against um, Blackburn. You know, from from the, from the back to the front. I think Glenn Murray he had he had an hour um, against. Uh, against Blackburn so you know it'd be interesting to see whether he might be able to have a bit of a longer run in this game who knows but I think it's yeah really important that we, we take this game seriously um, and we, we put out a side that we know can beat them I think in terms of the scoreline I wouldn't be surprised if it was another 1-0 win to be honest it seems to be the way that we're getting our wins recently either 1-0 2-1 other than that Wickham game where it's fair to say Wickham are probably a side that you don't really expect to be uh, staying up this season, I think they're probably dead set to go down. But even they have made a good battle of it. A good, they've, 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 you know, their fans could be proud of their performance, some of the performances so far this season. You look at um, when they came to the city ground, Wickham. They they actually put in, in a decent performance. So you know, I think, I think, yeah, um, we can't underestimate Rotherham. Like I said, they've got some, they've got some decent players. Uh, Michael. Um, Iikwe, Iikwe, something like that, the centre back. Um, he got a team this season last year on FIFA. I actually thought it was pretty decent on FIFA, to be honest. But he looks like a good player in real life. You know, they've got, they have got a, a decent number of of decent players within the the side. I think they've got Isaac Fassell, I think he still plays for them. So you know, they're not they're not a team that we're just gonna turn up and uh, you know we're not just gonna turn up there. And we're gonna turn them over. They're a, t a side who can play well. You look how they, they played against us last time. Jamal Blackman had an absolutely superb game for them and we probably should have won. Graben had a glorious open goal chance that he hit into the side netting and it finished one all in that one. But I think I do think that we have what it takes to beat them. We've just got to be on top of our game and, and really, you know, work as a team and not try and go in with the mindset of, oh, it's only well, then we've got to still battle like we did against Blackburn, battle like we have done against the likes of um, Bournemouth at home this season, you know. Uh, I do think 1-0 will probably be the final score. And if I'm going to pick a goal scorer, I'm going to go with Glenn Murray, I think. In games like this, when you're playing against a team 
that are, are further down the table than you, they're going to look to try and do whatever they can to stop you scoring. And I think with an experienced head like a, like a Glenn Murray, he'll be able to find a way to get past them and get the goal. But yeah, um, I'm really, really excited for this one. Obviously, it'll be good to have a bit of banter with my uncle and my granddad. You know, hopefully we can win and just rub it in, rub it in their noses. Thank them for the derby, beating derby, and then thank you for, uh, you know, letting us beat them. We're pretty funny. But yeah, um, I don't see any changes being made really. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's any players who picked up knocks or anything. I don't think so. I think we've got a clean bill of health in terms of our main starting eleven. Yates came back. Will we be seeing him play? Uh, tomorrow or we'll be seeing him playing against Derby I think it could be quite a decent idea to play him against Derby he's such a passionate lad and loves his club so I think if we can maybe rest him for Derby we might see him play there but I don't know I, I'd personally go with Cathy and Garner for this game and the Derby game um, but I'd understand if, if we do see Yates starting but yeah 1-0 um, for us I think will be the score I don't think it'll be an easy game I think it'll be a game where we have to huff and puff but I think in the end we'll blow the house down and we will get three points um, and yeah uh, I'm really looking forward to this one I think 1-0 for us I think Glenn Murray will score and I oh, do yeah. oh sorry <laughs> I accidentally suppressed play on my video there but yeah um, I do think that it will be a, a solid performance from Forest and another battling 1-0 so if you did enjoy smash the like button subscribe to Talk for us TV if you haven't already comment down below what you think the score will be, and uh, yeah, come on, you reds.